One thing is even clearer during this latest COVID surge. Low vaccine numbers mean a higher risk of catching it. CBS 17 digital reporter Jody McCrary is digging deeper into a, uh, to fact check, I should say, a claim that Governor Cooper made about one particular group. The governor called out teens and young adults for getting few shots but having lots of new cases. Less than half of those ages 12 to 24 have had one dose and case rates right now are the highest in this age group. I checked the numbers and he's right. Just 46% of people in that group with one shot. They made up 40% of all the cases from last week. But it's not just age groups. The connection also extends to geography. So I think we're faced with a very stark reality. We just have to look at it. This map shows the counties with the most new cases per capita over the past two weeks. The darkest counties have the most cases. And you see most of those counties are also light on this other map of the vaccination rates. So I think there's going to always be hot spots where there's a lot of vulnerable people, double digit percent and more, who are going to get sick with COVID-19 because they're not vaccinated. I also look specifically at the surge that's been going on for two months, comparing the five counties with the lowest vaccination rates to the five with the highest, and found the death rate in the worst counties is more than seven times higher than it is in the best ones. Wherever there's high uptake of vaccines, we see less people end up in a hospital hooked up to a ventilator or dying. In my story online, Dr. Wall explains why all those hotspots could make the idea of herd immunity useless. For CBS 17 News, I'm Jody McCrary. The increase in people getting COVID-19 is leading to an increase in people seeking treatment. UNC Health administered more than 900 units of monoclonal antibody treatments in just the past week alone. In fact, Dr. David Wool at UNC Health is working with other researchers to look for some more treatment options.